This is the prototype Mach 3 version of the pendant. As you can see, the buttons are just temporary foam buttons right now. These will be replaced with a custom rubber keypad, just like the EMC pendant. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Mach 3 screen. When you first open up Mach 3, the e-stop reset button has been tripped. So the pendant has one of these on it, so we can go ahead and turn that off so that we can go ahead and use Mach 3. The only time that you'll have to use your mouse to run a program again is when you're opening your G-code file. So look, I just opened up the same file that we cut out in EMC, this little smiley face, to give you a demonstration. We come over to the machine, see the material and the cutter. I can jog around to position the cutter with the arrows just like I did in EMC. Now Mach 3 has two different jog modes that we're going to be using with this pendant. One is continuous jog mode like you're seeing now and you can adjust the speed of that with these arrows. We come over here you see the jog rate right there is at 95 percent now it's at 100, 95 so I'm hitting these arrows and that's raising that up and down. So that's useful if you want to wrap it over to your material and then slow down and kind of just work your way up to it. Um, something that's a little bit more precise that Mach 3 allows you to do is switch from continuous jog mode to incremental jog mode. So if you look at this screen right here you can see that yellow LED on the jog mode is saying continuous right now. So if I hit the jog mode button on the pendant that switches over um, to step jog mode and we can move in stepped increments. And so this number right here is what, the, what it's going to move when you hit the button. So it doesn't matter if you press it and let go or press it and hold it. Right now, each button would only move the axes one thousandth of an inch. So pretty precise control. Let's say you don't want to move a thousandth of an inch, though. You have the step button over here, though. And you can quickly cycle through a whole bunch of different numbers from one inch down to one ten thousandth of an inch. So pretty precise control over your machine between the two jog modes to go ahead and zero some material. So let's switch back over to continuous jog mode for a minute come over here and zero the machine. So I'm going to zero to the center of this foam again. So that looks good for the X. You'll notice the difference on this pendant is the home button is not used to zero. The home button actually just sends your machine to home. So if you have homing switches, hitting this will send all three axes to those switches. To zero the machine you'll use these three zero buttons right here. The zero X button does the X as you'll be able to see. Digital readout right now reading 0.4. If I hit zero X goes to zero. Let's go ahead and zero the Y. Jog over to the center of this material and Y. There we go. Come back over to the DRO, zero Y. And let's do the same thing for Z. But let's do something a little different this time. Let's use continuous jog mode just to get the bit really close to the foam like that. Now I'm going to switch over to incremental jog mode. Change my step to one thousandths of an inch. And right now I'm moving down one thousandths every time until that bit just touches the top of the foam. Like that. Perfect. Let's come back over here and hit the zero Z button. You notice that DRO goes to zero as well. So at this point we're referenced. Um, we're ready to run a program. So up here in the top right corner is the cycle start button. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. The machine preps itself, gets ready, and starts cutting. So the feed rate is going kind of slow right now, and as you'll notice, I have a plus and a minus on here, and I can actually change that. So right now I've been hitting the minus, and we've got it to where it's almost not even moving. Hit the plus, it's speeding back up dramatically. Come over here, and you can see the feed rate on the screen. You can see that green bar going up and down when I'm hitting the plus and the minus, showing you that the feed rate is adjusting. Now coming back over here, um, a really useful button is the pause button. So when you hit that, it finishes the line of code it's on and then pauses. It lets you check things out, adjust things if you need to, and then you can start it again by hitting cycle start. Let's go ahead and let it finish cutting out the smiley face. Perfect. So let's show you the buttons on the pendant that we didn't use yet. There's the flood button. So this is if this machine had active cooling. If you come over here, you can see the flood, when I hit it, starts to blink blue, letting you know that it's turned on. 
turn it off, just like that. The spindle is also controllable with the pendant. Now it turned on automatically with that program, but if I want to just turn it on anytime, you can, just by hitting the button, and then hitting it again to turn it off. So that's the Mach 3 pendant. Um, I hope we get as many of these out there and into people's hands as we can. And thank you for watching.